What do we got? Cummins Quick Serve. We're going to show you how to get to Calibration Downloads. First, click on Service. Then, you click on Tab for Related Information. Then, you scroll down to Calibration Downloads. Once you get there, you put your serial number 740 90284 do not put the decimal point zip file. And I'm just taking that. That's the ECM. That's the ECM code. We're not putting the point one three in there. And we're gonna save as on this. Oh, first I'm gonna go to the calibration workspace. I've already saved an initial image. Um, calibration workspace. So, open that up. This is to see all the calibrations available. These calibrations are not for this truck. So, I'm going to empty calibration workspace. And it was a fire alarm and a supervisory. Fire is not super. And now we're going to save as. Uh, just to put it in the same spot. PDF screen. Okay, right seven. Status. Save it there. Okay, open folder. And we're gonna see. This is the work order image I saved already. I. Now we're going to right click, extract all, browse, and mine's already set up. If you wanted to see, C drive, intellect, insight, calibration workspace, select folder, and extract. Close this folder. Close Grab this folder. Analyze yeah, this. Refresh this. Command, we're now, waiting for the alarm restore. Status. Auto detect. We're checking now. Okay, thank you. Bam, here we go. These are all my options. And this setup for automotive. Alright. So this is what we're gonna do for our ECM horsepower base calibration change. Uh let me go back to that. Click on the wrong button. So we're gonna do control parts list. Milwaukee Commander from Red, the alarm and supervisory have restored. This is currently in trouble and out of service for trouble on our boat. This is mine. My ECM. Okay, within supervisory have restored. 4606 is in trouble. Out for trouble. Thank you. 4606. So now we're only displaying 4606 um, CPL. The other thing we want to do is the DO. Dealer option. It's all the way back here. I think it's a dealer option. Mine is this 13 one. This one's mine. My dealer option is 94352. 94352. So you're only checking that option. So these are my options. For the horsepower upgrade. You can see my original ECM base code and well, five others. This is a RV and boom, there's my RV emergency one. They want this to be for a ambulance. So that'll change the horsepower from 
And that uh, is how you figure out the ECM base code for okay. your horsepower upgrade or whatever they want. These are the options I have available to me. 240 was the one I had. You can get 250, 260, and you can do all these without changing parts. Uh, the only one that is iffy is this. You don't want to choose one that's for fire truck or an ambulance. If it's not a fire truck or an ambulance. But in my case, we're good. So, that's how you do it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh, you also need a fleet cal code. Um, you would double click that, go through all the okay, yes, blah, blah, blah. But you got your image saved before flashing. I've got my truck on a battery charger, blah, blah, blah. All those good things. You don't want to mess anything up. If you do mess something up, you have the backup work order image that you can send to the ECM. Create a template and send to the ECM if something goes wrong. Thanks. Well, hope you put this to good use. Goodbye.